And as you can see, it has been clear coated and the trim has been painted. Got the trim painted last night. I used Mr. Surfacer Black out of the airbrush. So Sunday I did the clear coat. Monday, one of those days. I don't remember exactly when. So we're on track to getting this thing completed here real soon. As you can see, it is now completed, and you're probably wondering, well, what happened to the rest of the, um, com you know, the clips on building this thing? Well, fortunately, after I got done doing the trim, as the clip you just saw, went to go ahead and get the uh, window piece masked, or excuse me, painted. Got all the window masking on, masked, you know, I masked up all the windows, got it ready to go, and we started doing it. Well, unfortunately, a lot of things had to happen and to go wrong at the same time for what happened and that was I crazed the shit out of the plastic the clear plastic I mean it was bad as you can see it was pretty bad that's how it looked afterwards uh, a lot of things like I said led up to that happening a lot of things didn't work didn't do the jobs and it, it went it went south quickly uh, there was about four things that led up to this happening first the too hot of too hot for Japanese plastic uh, flat black that I use the window masks not adhering to the plastic to the to the plastic very well they kept wanting to lift up and just not adhering and sticking very well the third thing was impatient on the builders part my me and the fourth was the weather all those combined led to that happening um, basically what happened came down to this is I was doing some other things spray paint you know spray painting the window getting the window trim painted coats on and I wasn't waiting long enough in between coats because of the weather so it wasn't drying fast enough so I basically was pouring the paint on and because it's a very hot plastic or very hot paint for Japanese plastic um, now this is the part that I don't know why why this happened but the window masks were soaking started soaking up the paint and I think that is where the crate what led to the crazy because it was holding onto that paint it was on the plastic the plastic was basically melting crazing the plastic the paint because it was touching it you know if that makes sense I think that's what led to it but I've never seen that before either that was really weird and so because and because of the cold weather the paint wasn't drying quick enough in between my coats so I was literally was just pouring the paint on so all that led up to the crazing and how I fixed it was a lot of sanding a lot of rubbing compound and a lot of polish is basically it I sanded everything I uh, started with 320 grit and worked my way up um, went from 320 400 800 grit 2000 then I went up to like 4000 or 6000 8000 and then 12000 and then went over it with the pol uh, rubbing compound and then came back with a polishing compound and I mean it's not perfect but it looks a lot better than it did so it will do it is passable for windows at this point I was considering uh, doing a smoke uh, clear on it just kinda uh, like you know what I'm not going to take my chances anymore. You know, who knows what else could go wrong. So it is what it is. It's done. There it is. So that's kind of why I didn't really do any more uh, building clips. Is I was trying to f focus on getting this done and working on other things. I just got busy. And it's just you know how it is. End of the year. Christmas is approaching. Just So it's finished. There it is. Enjoy the beauty shots.